Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of 7 Minute AE Tutorials, where you learn tips, tricks, and shortcuts in seven minutes or less. No BS, just AE. This is gonna be somewhat of a continuation of the previous episode because we're still talking about animating text. In the previous episode, I showed you how to make an animated text list with staggered lines. And we just used a couple of expression controls, an expression, some null objects, and an adjustment layer. For this episode, I'm gonna show you how to animate text using a text animator and a mask. And the cool thing about this is that you have no need for alpha mats or for set mat. So your project is gonna be a lot cleaner without all of those unnecessary matte layers. This is a very special episode because it's my first sponsored tutorial. That's right, Envato Elements saw something in my channel that they liked, so let's take a look at what they have to offer. I want to thank Envato Elements for sponsoring this episode and also thank my viewers for making this sponsorship possible. For designers, editors, and animators, Envato Elements is an amazing resource. With your membership, you can download unlimited assets for anything you could possibly want or need for your projects. Get access to high-res stock videos and photos, as well as motion graphic templates for titles, video displays, logo animations, lower thirds, infographics, promos, openers, and so much more. You also get access to backgrounds, textures, patterns, and icons, which we all know are vital resources. Download thousands of font styles and types and find the perfect one for your project quickly with their easy to use filtering system. You get access to music for your sound beds in virtually any style or genre you can possibly imagine for designing the perfect sound for your projects. Speaking of sound design, you have access to Envato Elements' entire sound effects database, which includes any sound you could possibly need or want for anything from short film production to commercials to logo stingers. There are also resume, portfolio, and web templates to help you land that perfect motion graphics job or to show your clients your work in a modern, professional, and impressive way. Every asset comes with commercial and non-commercial licensing at no extra cost so both you and your clients can produce amazing projects with peace of mind. And again, with your membership, you get unlimited downloads of all of these assets from Envato Elements. Download as much as you want, as often as you want, without ever having to pay for individual projects or files. Check out Envato Elements from the link in the description below and get 70% off the first month. That means you have access to everything from Envato Elements for less than $10. It's an unbelievable deal and I highly recommend you check it out. Please like this video so I can take advantage of that ever-changing, ever-elusive YouTube algorithm. And share my channel with your colleagues, friends, and coworkers so they can become After Effects gurus just like us and click the bell so that way you're notified every time I upload a new video. And sign up for my Udemy course, The Power of Shape Layers. It's a comprehensive course that covers literally every aspect of shape layers and is guaranteed to make you a shape layer superstar. All right, there's a lot to get through, so let's dive right in. Okay, so this is an example of how to avoid using alpha mats, set mats, and really having a lot of layers. Say like, what if we wanted this text to animate up or down or from really from any side, but we wanna mask it out. One way of doing this, and I've seen people do this a lot, is that you can go in and add in a solid, make this a different color so that way it kind of stands out. And now maybe you wanna move it up to right here. Then you can click alpha mat on your text layer so that way it only shows up in this area wherever your solid is. The problem with this is what if you have multiple layers? Well, if you use this method, you have to have two layers for every one layer of text. Another method that you can use is you can go in here and actually add in uh, shape layers best because it needs to be vectorized. But you can add in a rectangle. You can give it a fill and say this is the area where you want to show up. And you can use like a set mat. So if you apply the set mat to the text layer, and you set the mat to layer one and just hide this layer one. Now this text layer will only show up in this area where the rectangle is. The advantage of using a set mat like this is that this can actually be applied to any number of text layers. So say we duplicated this layer and it also comes with the set mat layer because we duplicated it and it's going to apply to this layer as well. So if you needed multiple layers to only show up in this one area, this is a good alternative. And actually I think it's better than using an alpha mat because instead of doubling the number of layers you're gonna have, you only have one additional layer. But there is another way, and I'll show you that right now, where you can get around both of those problems and only have one layer per text layer if you want to animate text in a specific area. And that's gonna be to use a mask and text animators. So let's right click on the text layer, go to mask and choose new mask. And as you can see, it goes right around our text layer. 
Now, if you bring up your position, you notice if you move your position around, the mask will go with it. So that's going to be true for position or scale or anything else. See right here where it says animate, click the arrow next to it and choose position. Put a position keyframe and maybe go forward a little bit. Actually, let's make this whole comp. We'll make it about five seconds long. Go back to the beginning of our layer and then just move this position down. And as you can see, text animators use masks. And you can do anything with these keyframes. Like I want to add in and ease in, maybe bring it in so that way it starts off fast and ends slow. So this animation will always stay outside of this mask. If you need to animate text in and you want it to just be in a specific area, instead of using an alpha mat or even a set mat, all you got to do is right click, mask, new mask, and then add in these keyframes. And the thing that's really cool about this is if you highlight where it says position, go up to animation, save animation preset, you can actually make this into a preset. So you need to make sure you're in documents, Adobe, the version you're in, user presets and make a folder for seven minute AE. We'll go inside of that folder and let's just call this text animator and I'll call it position. And you click save, get rid of this text layer. Let's add in some more text. Let's say Jeff Knight. I'm gonna go into our user presets under seven minute AE. Double click on our text animator position and it adds back in our keyframes. The only thing you need to do now is to add in a mask. Be careful where you add the mask in because it's going to apply it wherever your text happens to be. So see, this is our final resting spot. Go mask, new mask. It will apply it at this location and it'll animate in like that. And to show you what I mean, if we go back to the first keyframe and now we add our mask in here, it's going to add it at this lower level. So that way, whenever it animates, it's going to animate out. So just make sure you're at the end of the animation, right click and add a new mask. And you want to do this anyway. You want to add a new mask every time because the mask that's applied to the layer is very specific to the amount of text that's on that layer. What I mean by that is let's duplicate and then let's move this layer down. And as you can see, remember our mask goes with our position. Say what if I wanted this layer to be seven minute AE tutorials? Well, as you can see, the mask is covering up the rest of the text. All you have to do though is Click M to bring up your mask, get rid of it, right click and just add in a new mask. And now it goes around your text layer and this animates in using the position controls. Okay, and I just wanna show you one more quick example here. What if I wanna animate this into a specific area? So we're gonna right click, mask, new mask, but I want to have more control over how it animates in. Okay, so let's go to animate and we're gonna choose position. And then let's just rename this animator one to position one. And we can duplicate that to make position two. Position one is going to be the value of what your text will be at the end of the animation. Position two controls the beginning of the animation. For this position two, let's just go ahead and pull this down so that way we go out of our masked area and open up our range selector. So what's going to be controlling the animation for this layer now is our offset. So now we don't need to touch our position on our position controls. We're just going to leave this at say 225 and this one at zero. So now we're going to animate this with offset. So let's put a keyframe here, go for about 10 frames and then put our offset to 100. If you open up this advanced tab, as you can see it defaults to characters. So see this brings in one character at a time. So in addition to that, you can also choose characters excluding spaces. So that's just going to ignore the spaces in between words for purposes of animation. So for right here, for example, the animation is going from the F and Jeff straight to the K, and it's not taking time for that space in between Jeff and Knight. You also have some other options here though. You can also choose words, so that way it will bring up one word at a time. You want your keyframes to be closer together because there's less to animate. And then the other option, is you can do one line at a time. So it brings up one line like that. Text animators can get really complicated. There's a lot you can do with them, but these are just a few examples of something you can do super quick. You can avoid using alpha mats or set mat. And again, this can be saved as a preset and you can apply it to any layer in the future with the click of a button. I hope that helped you out. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And click the bell so that way you're notified every time I upload a new video. Share my channel with your colleagues, friends, and coworkers so they can continue to strengthen their After Effects skills as well. 
I'd love to get your thoughts about this episode, and please tell me what you learned from it. I love to hear that kind of stuff. And sign up for my Udemy course, The Power of Shape Layers. It's a comprehensive course that covers literally every aspect of shape layers, and is guaranteed to make you a shape layer superstar. The link to that course, as well as the notes and the project file for this episode, are in the description below. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time.